Libra? Oh my god. Why is my camera doing that? Hi, Libra. <laughs> I hope you're doing good. Um, I am here to just do a tiny reading for you. I'm filming at night and also my neighbor is blasting music. So if you can hear that, I'm sorry. He does this and that's part of the reason why we're moving. Um, not just like blasting music because I don't really mind music. But this man has a whole ass club in his apartment and it's so disrespectful. Um, anyway, I hope you're doing good Libra. Let's see what's going to come out for you. This is just going to be a quick timeless reading and don't forget to subscribe to new videos almost every single day. I am going to be switching up the way I do content. I think I'm just going to focus more on all signs readings and then the monthly love readings. So for anyone who has been oops, coming back, thank you first of all, but just let you guys know. I'm just experimenting with the way I do content and everything. So all right, we'll start with these three cards. Ooh, okay, very straightforward. Someone's coming back. <laughs> um, someone's coming back with a very, very, very big offer. I don't really know if you're open to it. I feel like they're going to claim that they've changed. I want to say that they have, um, but you guys know I don't like to encourage you to go back to your ex. So obviously take that with a grain of salt. We can also see if this person is legit. Eight of Cups in the reverse is definitely a return. And then the Emperor here is definitely like big time, big time like divine partner, a divine if we want to get woo woo about it. With the Seven of Cups in the reverse though, I feel like this offer is going to overwhelm you. And then with the Empress, I feel like you're just not really going to expect it. I feel like it's going to unground you a little bit. But this person has a lot of passion for you. They're very attracted to you. Uh, it could be a Taurus or even an Aries. We do have the Emperor and the Empress here, which is a true pair, but the Empress is reversed. So I'm like, I don't know. All right, show me this Emperor that's coming in. And gender doesn't matter. Just it's energy. I want to say that the Emperor is just the person who comes in with the offer, right? Because Emperor energy is more about taking action. So it's just someone who's taking action towards you. Ah. <laughs> Very interesting. You know, I do think that they're hiding something and we're going to pull on that. But I will say in the past, we have the King of Pentacles and the Hierophant coming out as a challenge. And that to me says commitment issues. I mean, the Hierophant is commitment or wisdom, but in a love reading, I would say it's commitment. And then the King of Pentacles is just someone who's about loyalty and stability and commitment. And then we have the Death card, which is just transformation. I do think that this person has had a lot of problems in the past and they've had to face them, but they are hiding something. So let's see what they're hiding. Um, the Ace of Swords in the reverse can be lying and then the Moon is like stuff that's hidden. So. Yeah, let's see what it is they're hiding because I do feel like this person has gone through some sort of transformation, but, you know, that doesn't mean that they're ready to be with you. That doesn't mean that they're on your level yet, right? All right. What is this person hiding? What is this person hiding? Hmm. I think they're still holding on to a lot of stuff from the past. I'm going to pull more on that too. I, this reading is very straightforward. Thank you. I feel like I'm not having to do too much digging on this person. I feel like, yeah, I just, it feels very straightforward and I really like that. So thank you, Libra. Um, we have the four swords and the devil in the reverse. <sighs> yeah, this person has healed a lot. This person has healed a lot of toxicity from their past. I do believe that they've let a lot of stuff from their past go. There's a lot of releasing going on here and there is a lot of rest going on here as well. I do feel like this person has been in a period of rest. I don't really think that this person is like a cheater or anything, or at least I haven't seen evidence of that yet. With the four of pentacles here, I do believe that they're still holding on to some sort of rejection or heartbreak from the past. So I don't know if you rejected this person before you know maybe they come they came towards you and you were like no you're still not on my level you still can't offer me what i deserve and they're still kind of holding on to that so they may have a fear that you're going to reject them again we have the high priestess here with the knight of pentacles in the reverse yeah i feel like you have this fear though that they still have the same commitment issues that they had in the past i think that you let this person go what what i'm gonna like assume is that you guys are probably in some sort of like situationship 
and you wanted more and they said no and you said okay well then I'm just gonna dip out and then they felt rejected that's just kind of what I'm getting here and I think that you having hesitations over this is very valid what is this person's true intentions with Libra what is this person's true intentions with Libra the empress reversed again <laughs> yeah they're gonna tell you i choose you i might make that the title oh look the emperor came out again wow they're very serious about you the emperor and the empress reversed came out again very funny um they're gonna tell you i choose you again i just am not so sure that you even want this person anymore so with the well in the reverse, I feel like they didn't nurture this connection in the way that they should have in the past. And I feel like they're going to tell you, no, this is what I want. This is what I want to do now. With the ten of wands in the reverse, they definitely have felt burdened by your absence. And so with the chariot, they're definitely rushing towards you. They could also have a thing for cars. They could be a car person. Um, we have the Empress in the reverse here. Again, I just don't think that you're super open to them. With the two of swords in the reverse, I feel like... They are definitely making the decision to come towards you and it was a very tough decision for them to make. I think that they really had to face a lot when you guys separated. I think they had to face a lot about their own commitment issues and it made them reflect a lot. I'm not really getting third party with this person. I don't really think that they're a cheater. I also don't really think that this is like your psycho ex that you know put you on an emotional roller coaster. I think that this is someone different. I will never encourage anyone to go back to their seemingly abusive partner so not seemingly I don't know why I said seemingly but you guys know what I'm saying I just feel like this person feels very human to me this person doesn't feel manipulative they don't feel uh they don't feel evil they don't feel um malicious you know so this isn't your crazy ex that has cheated on you a thousand times and you just can't seem to get rid of them you know so yeah Libra that's what I have for you Aries and Taurus and Cancer are here um I'm very curious to see what kind of decision you're going to make when this person comes in. Very straightforward reading. Thank you for being here. Um, definitely come hang out with me on TikTok almost every night between 6 and 7 p.m. PST. I do live readings there and then you can also get a private reading from me in my stand store if you are interested. And definitely make sure to subscribe for new videos almost every single day. And I will be switching up my content like I said at the beginning of the video. I'll be doing more all signs and there'll be more in-depth all signs. So. I know that that's what a lot of people like. That's why people get onto tarot channels. And I feel like um, I like doing them more than the individual sign videos personally. So it kind of just works out for everyone. So yeah, that's what I have for you guys. I love you guys so much and I'll see you later. Bye.